contender. And it's going to be a gap on Mary Louise. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the grand final of Gladiators. Please welcome your hosts, it's Bradley and Barney Walsh. contenders out there make sure you stick around later for an announcement now everything comes down to tonight will the irish charmer or the hometown hero end up being crowned our female gladiators champion 2024 let's get straight into it with mary louise in the gauntlet against electro athena fire and diamond this was one of the best attempts by the female gladiators to stop a contender all series she was getting held up at every single station and then she finally got to the end against Diamond and then this happened. Mark Lundberg has a look. You can't do that, Diamond. It was clear from the video that Diamond was holding Marie Louise. Therefore, Marie Louise will go to complete zone four again with six seconds remaining. Once the game restarted, she got through without the need for the extra six seconds. And then Bronte came next and she got through with considerable ease. Wesley came up against Nitro, Steel, Phantom and Apollo. He did a little bit of spinning around, a little bit of trickery and then brushed them aside with plenty of time to spare. Finley would not be denied and he also picked up 10 points. The gladiators took a pasting in the gauntlet. Dynamite leading the reply. Dynamite is so good at duel. She had too much power for the contender and managed to win the game comfortably. The referee halted the next match with fire because she was doing a little bit of illegal poking in the face instead of hitting. It's another poke in the face of Bronte and there's the whistle. Fire, I warned you about the jabbing. You continue to jab. Take this as a formal warning. And once the game was restarted, she managed to win with not too much trouble. Now, Bionic against Wesley seemed like a good match. And Bionic arguably has a little bit less power than Giant, who himself had a tough matchup against Wesley last time on Duel. But Bionic was fully aware of Wesley's strength. So without delay, he battered him about the head relentlessly to win the match. Giant went back to his easy winning ways, dispatching Finley in six seconds. All of the gladiators looked up for the challenge in this final. And whilst Giant was up there on his perch, he spotted somebody in the crowd. I did not expect to get up there, stare Finley in the face on a duel, and have the mighty Saracen ceremony out behind. Oh yes, of course, Saracen is here. There he is in the audience. The mighty Saracen. Brilliant. One of the original gladiators, thanks to John and, of course, Finley. Diamond went up in the sky on the edge. And it's going to be another two points here. Oh, and it's Diamond who nearly goes. She very nearly allowed Marie Louise to get maximum points before eventually completing the job. Passing for the perfect score, but Diamond has got her this time. I think Fury oh, just got the record for the fastest the woman team. edge all series. Job well done. After dancing around for a few seconds, Apollo took Wesley out of the game like he was in the NFL. Like the rest of the Gladiators, legend looked ready for action. He stayed relaxed and cut down those angles for the win. Contender again, but look at Finley popping his way across to another two points. This time, Legend has read his run. And brings him down. He finished with another good post-game performance. Listen, Finley was fine, but let's talk about me. <laughs> Everyone knows how good I am, but even by my standards, that was astonishing up there. So good, in fact, I'm curious to know Finley's thoughts. Finley, what are your thoughts on my performance? So the, the I'm is, joking, I don't care. 
there's only one winner of Gladiators 2024, and you're looking at him. Legend, everybody. Diamond and Dynamite both caught their contenders on the wall. Dynamite had to struggle a little bit to break Bronte's grip, but she eventually got her off and Diamond got her contender down as well. So that was very good for both of them. Next, we had Nitro and Steel on the wall and Nitro was chasing Wesley and he decided to give him a little bit extra time at the start. And then he just rushed up the wall and did what he does normally and took him down within seconds. Still didn't even really get close enough to Finley and Finley didn't get close enough to the next hand grip. Nearly at the top, he missed the grip and fell off. What a wasted opportunity. The final game was Collision, so there was no Powerball or Ring in this episode and I have a theory. I think they didn't want anyone to get injured. Imagine if they'd have to call back Jake or Betty. So Athena, Electro, Dynamite and Fury allowed Mary Louise to cross just once before sending her flying. And Bronte closed the gap slightly by managing to evade them for three crosses. Viper got in just before the end of this show. Along with Bionic, Legend and Giant, they stopped Wesley after one very fast crossing and then he got halfway across and he was knocked off. Now Finley nearly got a third of the way across the bridge before the game was over. Never mind. Now the show definitely had a finals feel to it. The male and female gladiators kept the scoring really low, so well done to all. Then it all came down to this final moment where the contenders lined up and they could almost taste the victory. Now at this point I'm going to say thank you very much for everyone who has watched, subscribed, liked and commented on all my videos that I've done over the last few months. I continue to do all of those things, thank you very much. And I will be back with another series, but right now I'm gonna leave you with the two clips from the Eliminators for the males and females. Enjoy, goodbye. And don't forget to stick around for the announcement at the end. A lead in points now converts into a head start. Bronte's on 16. Mary Louise has 20, and with each point worth half a second, it means Mary Louise has a two seconds advantage. And every second counts. Gladiator finalists, are you ready? Mary Louise, you will go on my first whistle. Bronte, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Mary Louise still smiling as she sets off on her way. Mary Louise gets a little bit tangled up on the rope there. You can see her anguish, but Bronte's not faring any better. Unclipping the trapeze with real precision. Oh, here comes Bronte. Look, she's not far behind us all now. Bronte nearly missed the net, but now she might use all of her skills as a firefighter to catch up again. So, so close. Hardly anything between them. Her face isn't smiling now. It's one of pure determination. And it has to be because here comes Bronte again. Oh, this is incredible. They're almost neck and neck once more. Off the beam first, Mary Louise. No time to take a breath. She's got to charge up that travelator now. And there she goes. And Bronte is closing the gap once again. But Mary Louise has done it. Gladiators champion 2024. Bronte, you left nothing out there. You put everything into that. I did, yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Just give it my all, and no matter what happened, then I'd be happy. So, I'm happy. Well done, ML. <laughs> Your family's on their feet. Thank you so much for all the support. Mary Louise, just talk us through it. Bronte was on my tail the whole time. What a competitor to go up against. And she was so close to the end. There was a photo finish. I think we're both winners in my eyes anyway. Congratulations to you. You are the Gladiators champion 2024. There you, hold it. There you have it. There you have it. There you go. Congratulations. Well done, you two. Well done, Bronte. Sensational final.
Go ahead and see your friends and families. Give a round of applause, everyone. Mary Louise and Bronte. They'll set off together in pursuit of Gladiator's glory. One final eliminator to decide our male champion. Everything comes down to this. Gladiator finalists, are you ready? Three, two, one. Well, this has got a bit of everything. They start neck and neck. And let's not forget, it's England versus Scotland. Still nothing between them as they clamber up that rope, get two runs at a time. Finley's pretty fast too, mind you. Absolutely level, shoulder to shoulder, side by side, as they start to clamber up the cargo net. For Army Officer Finley, this should be a breeze. Wesley's used to being on the ropes, but not quite like this. He's not far behind, but it is Finley who has the advantage. It's a huge crash landing and a roll off the mat from Wesley. He's showing us all of his skills. Made that beam look as though it was 10 metres wide. And here he goes, just the Trevelator in his way as Wesley comes crashing down. And it's Finley who flies through to be crowned champion of Gladiators. How far behind is Wesley? Oh, he's out of juice. And he sinks down to the bottom. Tears in the eyes of his family and friends. Finley's roaring him on to one last race. Go on, Wesley. Look at that face. What a fighter he is. What a guy. Wes, unbelievable. Oh. How did it go? I got a bit excited on the zip line and I felt my hamstring when I landed. I was like, oh no. It's like that's my strength for the balance beam and the and the travel so I thought. I'm gonna catch him, <laughs> but then I felt me I'm string, but an injury at the final hurdle, mate. Extraordinary. You've oh. been an absolute warrior. There is only one thing left to say, Finley. You are our Gladiators champion 2024. Wow, this is uh, definitely the most surreal moment ever from five-year-old me playing Eliminator in my granny's living room to lifting the real deal. This is unbelievable. Thanks, guys. What an experience. You deserved it. Go and see your family. Give it up for Finley, our Gladiators champion 2024. Could you take on the Gladiators? If you've got the strength, speed and skill to be a contender for the next series, then go to bbc.co.uk slash gladiators to apply. Are you ready? <laughs>